All right, let's see. Um, this is my first stream ever. Um, so I'm hoping that this works because I intend to go and do more of these. Uh, so let's, um, yeah, let's uh, just mess around a little bit with the character creator uh, for tonight. Um, so what I'm going to do is basically, you know, just show how these presets work and how you can make your own and um, yeah, just make some uh, make some interesting uh, characters. Uh, so as we start off here, Replicant has um, a lot of presets that you can uh, pick, right? So you can just hover over these characters. Uh, now I have this one selected here. Uh, I can swap them around. You know, so if I want to have this one, uh, this character is now being swapped, and uh, you see that it's a procedural system because it's kind of building itself when it's um, you know when it's loading that. Um, I'll go through that um, to show what that exactly kind of entails. Uh, you see that these characters they all stem from the same uh, base mesh. Uh, so if I take like the proportions uh, from these characters here. So you have a pretty elaborate uh, um, proportions uh, preset. Uh, you can also make your own and, and so on. Um, <coughs> if you want to, you know, have a bit more control over that, you can go and set a pose. Uh, here you have like a variety of different poses that allow you to, uh, well, not really kind of model, but to kind of like pose and fit, and so in an in an easy kind of way. Um, I'm switching that on right now, and uh, I either use this or, or or I like to kind of pause my animations as well, um, as you see I do here. Uh, but let's go and and, and start working from a, from a T pose. Um, I'm navigating uh, around the character, holding my right mouse click. Uh, so the right mouse, I'm holding that, and I can basically kind of navigate around the character um, <coughs> with the right mouse click held in using W A S D uh, I'll be able to kinda like navigate right so that's kinda like how it works in most video games uh, Q and E work as well uh, but that's how you basically navigate around the around the scene um, there's also a bunch of presets here if you want to quickly kind of go through something um, you can also make your own kind of bookmarks uh, but I'll, I'll, I won't go into that for now but let's say we want to make a character uh, I want to make a character with a uh, I can see what I kind of what I'd like to make you know let's say I want to have it's the character with a big head um, I can also kind of go and play around with that here. I can change like the arm spacing and height. Um, and all this is basically saved with your character uh, file. So let me make this body a bit bigger on the top. Let's give him like some uh, bigger feet. Let's say we do two, two. Uh, and let's say I'm, I'm happy with, uh, with, with, with this character. Uh, now I can go in and you know change the eye colors. Uh, you know I have like a uh, again presets here, but you can also go and dive into your settings. Uh, so if you're like um, you know an experienced three D creator, um, this will be a good kind of menu for you. Um, if uh, if three D is all new to you, then you can you can just stick in um, stick with these kind of presets. We're adding more and more of these over time. Um, but what what are we seeing right here is, uh, for example, um, we have a attachment, which are these glasses, as you can see. Now let's say I don't like these glasses. Um, I can remove them, so I can basically select the glasses here and uh, I can press delete and now the glasses are removed uh, let's say I want to put some different glasses on him you know there's a huge variety of them here uh, let's say we want to have some sunglasses uh, I will attach these 
now you see uh, the system does a, a pretty decent job most of the time placing them uh, but you can also you know adjust and so on and again here for these type of things it's it's uh, it's nice when you're um, it's nice when your uh, character is not moving you know you can be a bit more kind of precise so let's say I want it to be a little bit lower on the nose uh, no a little bit lower uh, oops and uh, maybe we also want to scale them up a little bit uh, so I can lock that so they scale in all the same kind of direction but yeah let's say we want to have something like this and then I'm going to uh, just make him a bit wider and I'll make them a bit come to the front so there you go that fits now right so um, <coughs> there's materials for all these glasses uh, you can dive into but I'm, I'm gonna keep it a little bit uh, uh, top uh, uh, top view uh, so to say uh, so now once I've placed this I can go back um, I'll switch my animation override off so now he's on a on this little kind of loop you see you got like a weird little fella here um, you see that he's got like a a bit of a belly so actually thinking about that um, I probably want to move that arm space a little bit I'm not sure if that's fixed yet yeah that is fixed so again let's pause it and then I'll see where these arms are moving through and I can make that oh, I do have to not be paused uh, to do that so you see that um, I put his his arms out a little bit a little bit more um, <coughs> okay, so then we have like uh, face paint. Let's um, let's give him a little bit of uh, eyeshadow, or what shall we do? Uh, not sure. Got some lips. <coughs> okay, so now he's got his lips painted. Um, the skin you can also change. Um, more and more being added here. So you can have your, your cartoon skins, uh, so this will make it a bit more kind of cartoony, um, which is which is nice when you're making abstract uh, characters. So there's a lot, there's a, there's a wide variety of, 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 of skins. Maybe I just want to have this little green guy here, that's quite fun. Um, then in terms of hairstyles as well, I have um, uh, plenty of them to choose from. Let's say I like this here, but I'm gonna go for all green. Uh, all green. I'll put some physics on. Uh, so you have your simulation here. So now when he moves around, his hair moves as well. Uh, you can see that if I move him, which is nice. Um, <coughs> you can go and do the same thing with the beard and so on. But let's go and take a look at that uh, close. And I'll see if I can run into some problems here. Uh, for example, let's so we have multiple layers for clothes. So meaning that I can take um, you can take a, a an upper layer here. So let's say we have a, a shirt or yeah, and I can put another one on top of that. Right. So now you see our guy has two different layers. Uh, you can pick like different presets for that again uh, you can also tweak them customize them and and, and, and so on Let's say I want to have this uh, white shirt I want to make that green uh, I'm gonna go for all green kind of guy okay I like that upper uh, layer but you see there is some kind of poke through here of the geometry um, we can fix that so you can do that on, on, on both of the layers, right? So I can now either, and you'll see here when you hover over that, what is being affected. So if I wanna make that uh, lower waist a bit wider, I can do that, you see? So I'm making it a bit wider now. Um, maybe a bit less here. Um, maybe a bit less there. But I can also do this on the other layer, right? So I can make that bigger here. So you can either kind of say, uh, what is this? The waist, the 
Oops. Hi. Oops. Mid. Rips. Low. Oh. Chest upper, perhaps. You see, like I'm, I'm, I'm basically kind of sculpt, be like pulling that, pulling that out. So there you go. That was what I was looking for. The, 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 the chest. Uh, pec pectorals. Uh, so now I, I, I don't have that issue anymore. Uh, still an issue here on the back, so I can go to back lower, and then I still have a little bit here, and then I'll go to uh, back lower and just pull that in a little bit, as you can see. And <coughs> I can do that with the pants as well. So I'm gonna have these pants under that shirt, uh, so my hips I'm going to pull in a bit. Uh, my waist actually I'm gonna pull in so there you go you see I pulled pulled that in so now I have no kind of offensive uh, uh, poke through of this character um, so let's say we're happy with this character you know you can add a lot of other stuff to it but I'm happy uh, with this so what what I'll do then is I'll go and give him a name um, and I'm gonna call him uh, Mr. Green. And uh, his display name is Mr. Green. Um, <coughs> I can also select voices uh, for our character. So. This is a preview so you can understand how this voice sounds. This is a preview so you can understand how this voice sounds. So this is a preview so you can understand. This is a preview so you can so understand you have a lot how of, this voice sounds. You have a lot of different. Uh, so you can understand how this. This is a preview so you can understand how this voice sounds. Okay, so like this one, I'll select it. Um, you can kind of change the 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 the, the emotion and, and and clarity and and and, and so on. I'm gonna leave that on default, but I'm going to uh, make him. Uh, fab fabulous, uh, poetic, friendly, uh, chatterbox. Um, so if I'm 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 happy with this character now. I've given them this personality. So now I'll save him as save my avatar. Uh, so now I've made my first uh, avatar. Now I'm gonna stop this stream, see if it actually worked, um, because I can't actually see anything on YouTube. Stop, so hopefully this worked.